The question says, find the intersection of three planes, and all my three planes are given in Cartesian form. Well, from the point of view of system, from the point of view of equations, all we have to do, we have to find a solution to the system of linear equations. But this time, we're not going to invent any ad hoc approaches. We're going to follow the, row, the Gaussian elimination way. So first, I'm going to extract the augmented matrix from this system. Then I will take this to the row echelon form. This is a step which I will skip. I will let you do that. And then by looking at the result, we can see what kind of intersection we may have. So first, here's my extraction of the augmented matrix. First row, it's the coefficients from this line. Second row, these are the coefficients from the second equations, 2, negative 4, 2, and 2. And the last one. Now, we have to take this to the row echelon form, and that's, this is the step which I'm going to hide. Like this. I, I will assume that you will be able to do that. Uh, on many questions, in fact, on many questions which you have with my lecture notes, and some of them which I will present here, even today, uh, if you study the website, I, my, I, I'm, I'm updating regularly. There is a, if you went where I put the lecture notes, you know I, there is a handwritten solutions there. In chapter, in this chapter, in the chapter about linear equations, there is another file which calls solution helpers. Did you see that file? How many people saw that file? Well, I'll show. If you open that file, if you open that file, in that file actually I did the very detailed steps of uh, finding the reduced row, uh, row echelon forms for many matrices in the lecture notes. And if you read my handwritten solutions, uh, in many places I say, see solution helper for the details of the row. I'm not encouraging you to read that. In fact, you can do, I'm sure you will be able to do, the, I mean, find those steps just independently without my help. But if you're struggling with that, you can go to that file. Here it is. But for many others, I do. So if I go to the row echelon form, the result of that will be this matrix. And now I can do my analysis, because now I can clearly identify the pivots. Here's a pivot. Here's another pivot. And this is it. We have two pivots on the left-hand side, no pivots on the right-hand side. What's the answer? How many solutions we have? We have I? infinitely many. Plus, not on the top of that, we can say even more about the structure of how many solutions we have, because how many non-leading columns we have? We have only one non-leading column, which means we will need only one parameter to describe my solution, which will mean that my solution will be a line. So without even finding the solution, we can immediately conclude that these three planes, they intersect along a straight line. It's not often happens in the three-dimensional space. But they do intersect along the straight line. I found this line here. So these are my variables, x, y, z. Uh, well, actually, I call it parameter t this time. If I back substitute, if I back substitute from the first line, I will have x plus y equal x plus y equal 1 plus t. That's the first line of my row echelon form. My parameter goes to the right-hand side straight away. Second line of my row echelon form is, is even simpler, like this. And this one, I can back substitute. Here's the back substitution. This one gives me y equal 2 thirds of t. This one gives me x equal 1 plus t on 3. If you back substitute here, y, I mean, z is simply t. That's the choice of my parameter. And here's the solution. If you convert the solution into the vector form, if you will treat your x, y, z as a component of your vector, if you treat them like this, then the combination is the term, here's the vector which comes with no t, component 1 from here, 0 component here, 0 component here. And here's the vector which stands next to the parameter t. Here's my line in the intersection of these three planes. It is a quick solution. Of course, uh, it, is a, it is quick because I 
hid most of the computational paths in this in this do under these dots. But it's it's like I said, it's just a computational part there. The structure, it's all here in the row echelon form. And well, I personally you may personally don't like the parameter T on three. Probably if you just introduce another parameter, say S, which will be a replacement for T on three, then your line will look even better. Like this.